This is not a site designed to inspire confidence. Firefighting helicopters preparing to drop water onto overheating nuclear reactors. It's an admission that every other effort has failed and soon this act of desperation was to fail too. There was too much radiation for the pilots to fly safely. The Fukushima complex can only be seen now through mist and rising smoke, fitting perhaps given the fog of confusion and misinformation coming from the Japanese government. This is the scene today in Tokyo on streets normally teeming with people during a working day. Since radiation levels here were upgraded to elevated, millions have been staying indoors or heading to the airport in the hope of an available flight. A deeply worried nation now voting with its feet. It was James Mates of ITV News reporting from earlier today. I think that they are trying everything they can possibly do. And uh, that's, uh, it's appropriate. I mean, they need to try every possible measure. But the fact that the radiation levels are prohibitive for, uh, for carrying out these measures is, is disturbing. And I wonder how long it can be sustained. The U.S. government today gave a more dire technical assessment of what's going on in Japan than we have been hearing from the Japanese government. Uh, the U.S. Then, then changed its advice to U.S. citizens accordingly, advising Americans uh, to evacuate further from the reactor area than J the Japan had been advising. Do you, do you know why that shift happened? Well, the NRC apparently um, published some calculations on its website that showed that there would still be uh, significant doses uh, 50 miles away from the uh, site if all four reactors were to melt down. Now, this is really no surprise. Uh, anyone who's familiar with these types of assessments knows that 50 miles is not a safe distance to be in a, an emergency like that. Um, so I think finally the NRC is trying to come to grips with the fact that um, that there is a real danger much further away than the 10-mile emergency planning zones that, are, that it licenses here in the United States.